Hi guys, it is time for lesson 129. This is my third time trying this lesson video, so I hope this one works. Um, for some reason, um, they keep disappearing after I do 10 and 12 minute videos, so this has been fun. Um, we're going to try this one more time. So lesson 129 is what we're on today, and I think you're taking a phonics test. Remember that little yellow box? means mom and dad can't help you. So make sure that you just do your very best. And I know that you can. And you're all so smart. So I know you're going to do great and probably even get an A+. I should have sent stickers home with mom so that you guys could put your stickers on your paper. I guess we'll just have to use a lot of stickers whenever you get back into the classroom. So after you take your um, test, then you'll have a writing paper, and the writing paper is copying from another paper. So that I gave you, it's just like when you copy off of the board, but I put it on a piece of paper for you guys. And the last line is um, a sentence. So you have to read it to know what goes on to how to finish the sentence. So make sure you read it all by yourself and finish the sentence the right way. You don't have to draw the line like I did. You can just finish it. So I know you can, and you're going to do great. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that I wanted to do today was to review your verse. So remember, our new verse for this week was the letter X, and it says, Exceeding great and precious promises are given unto us. And that's true. God has given us so many promises, and there's so many of them that we just could not even imagine all the promises that God gave us. And do you know where God gave them to us at? Where does God talk to us through? The Bible. So even though we're not having Bible class, I hope that you're spending some time to read your Bible with your mom and dad and still having some Bible lessons at home. And if not, practice your Bible verses. We'll practice them anyways. Practice all of them, starting with the letter A. And now we're down to letter X. Exceeding great and precious promises are given unto us. And then make sure you also are practicing your special sounds. There's a lot of them now, so you might have to do them like two times with mom. And you can go back to our video that the everyday video is so that you can practice those. The other thing that I wanted to talk about today was, I lost my board. Oh, um, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say that I lost it because I'm old. It's true. It's true. That's why I lost it. And I'm sure that all of you just said that because you know why I lose things. So today we're going to talk about sentences again. Remember what every sentence has to have two things to help it be a proper sentence. The first thing is a capital letter and the last thing is a period or some kind of end mark that goes at the end of your sentence. So this is a sentence, but it's mixed up. And so we have to try and figure out how we can fix it. So right now I want you to hit the little pause button down there and I want you to try to read this sentence and I'll wait just a second. So I hope you read this sentence and it says, Dave is in seat his. That doesn't even make sense. Dave is in seat his. That is mixed up. So the words that are under this line are the ones that are mixed up. So we have to try and fix them. So when we fix them, we should say, Dave is, what would come next? In, Dave is in seat. No, Dave is in his seat. I'm not going to try to write them on the line because I have to write backwards to make this look right to you on my video. So I'm not going to try or else you guys would laugh at me even more. So just know that if you're writing it and you end up getting a paper like this where the words are mixed up, then you can fix them. Just say Dave is in, and then the next word you would write is his, and the next word, word would be seat. So now it reads Dave is in his seat. So sometimes they try to trick you, but you're not trickable because you're too, too smart. Hey, want to do some flashcards? Let's do some flashcards. How about, they're going to be a little bit backwards to you guys, though. So just try and figure out what they are. I'm sorry that they're backwards. I don't know how to fix that on my computer. But 
you try to beat me. Okay, I'll give you just a second to answer and then I'm going to answer. So you try to beat me. Ready? One plus eight. Nine. Two plus three. Five. One plus five. Six. Zero plus nine. Nine. One plus seven, eight. Zero plus seven is seven. Are you beating me? One plus two, three. Two plus five, seven. Two plus six, eight. It's a hard one. Three plus four, seven. One plus nine, ten. Zero plus four, four. Zero plus zero, zero. I hope you got that one really super fast. Hard one for Hunter. Hunter likes the hard ones. Four plus four. Eight. Did I beat you, Hunter? Let's do one more. One plus three. Four. Hmm. I hope I beat you, but if not, rewind this right back to where we started the flashcards. And you can do the flashcards again and again until you get faster than me and beat me on every single one of them. Maybe tomorrow we'll try some different do you remember when we talked about coins the other day? So we talked about our penny, whose picture is Abraham Lincoln. And a penny is worth how much money? One cent. This is, if you said dime, you're wrong. Try again. Nickel. It's a nickel. It's bigger than the dime. How much is a nickel? Five cents. So when we count nickels, we count by fives. So count these nickels. I hope you said 10 cents. And this is not a nickel. What is it? It's a dime. And how much is a dime? 10 cents is right. I hope that's what you said. When we count dimes, we count by 10. So if I have Two dimes. How much money do I have? 20 cents is right. You're so smart. Then we learned the new coin, the biggest coin that we've learned. Do you remember what it is? It is called a quarter. You're right. It's a quarter. Whose picture is on the quarter? George Washington. And who is George Washington? I hope you said he was our first president because you're right. I think I heard Elle May say that. She said that. I heard her. What's on the back? What's on the back? Do you remember? It's an eagle. I hope by now you've sent me all of your eagle stories because I cannot wait to hear them all. So we have George Washington on the front and an eagle on the back and it's a quarter. But how much money is it? 25 cents. That's a lot, right? So if anybody asks you, which one of these coins do you want? You tell them you want the quarter because it's the most money. You would have to have 25 pennies just to make one quarter. When you go to the store and something costs 25 cents, you would have to give them 25 of these or just one of these. So you definitely want one of these. So when we have two quarters, we have... 50 cents. Just remember, 25, 50. So that's what two quarters is. And you keep on counting your money. Maybe you can ask mom and dad to get out their piggy bank and you can count and sort their coins. And you can see, ask dad when he gets home from work, can I see all your coins in your pocket? And you can make a stack of quarters and a stack of nickels and a stack of dimes and a stack of pennies and you can count them. And I'm sure mom and dad would love for that. Then you can say, thank you, now I'll just go put this in my piggy bank. They might not like that, you better not do that. 
So, one more thing. It's our clock. Remember our clock? Remember we talked about if the big hand is on the six, what time is it right here? Not quite to the 11, so it's still 10, 30. And if this, remember what we count by? If we look for that big hand to be on any other number, still not to the 11, so we're still going to say it's 10, and then we count by fives. 5, 10, 15. So what time is it? 10, 15. Maybe mom or dad can help you work practice a few more of these clock things. I don't want to take up all your time on here with doing that. So I won't, I won't do that. So you guys just practice all of those and maybe mom and dad can help you with the clock and help you with your flashcards and make sure that you're reading from your readers. If anybody wants to make a video and send it to me of them reading, I would love that because I miss hearing you guys read. So I miss you guys. Not nearly as much fun. Do you know who's sitting in here listening to me talk to you right now? The guinea pigs. That's all. Just the guinea pigs. Maybe they'll learn something and they'll be super smart like you guys. Have a great day. I miss you and love you all.